So today we're gonna do things a little different, and you might notice if you if you're attentive that we're all wearing something that matches, sort of. Can you, can you pick the theme? <laughs> The wonderful world of Disney. Disney, yes, you're very good there in the back row. I saw that hand. Yes, Disney, that's right. This is Eric, Sadie, and we have some other people to introduce. This is Trinity. Hello. Ryan. Hello. And Elena. Hi. This is the Hess family. This is all of us. Um, well, we have, Remy's not in this. Picture. She's not family. Well, she's a dog. <laughs> And why are we doing a Disney thing vlog today, dear? Because, well, Trinity actually can tell you a lot. She's our Disney person she's with a, all the she's facts. A, yeah, she's our Disney. What, Trinity, what, what's coming up? Yeah. Uh, Disneyland's anniversary, July 17th, 1955. I've been going to Disneyland since, well, I was, you know, not born yet. My first, my first post-birth trip there was in 1970. I was six months old. She was there as a as a as a preborn. In the womb. In the womb. <laughs> Mom, Sadie, when was your first trip? How old were you? I was I was an old lady. I was nine years nine old years by old. the time That's I went right. to Disneyland. But we go a lot. So we go we go in all our lives, we go in all their lives. It's and our we, second home. It's, yeah, it kinda of feels like a second <laughs> home sometimes. So we love Disneyland. We really, really do. So uh, Ryan, what's your favorite? Really quick, what's your favorite thing about Disneyland? My favorite thing, um, probably just the memories. Just being able to relive mm. the memories that we've had at Disneyland. Awesome. Awesome. We've our family few. time. Very good. How about you, Elena? What's your favorite thing? Um, probably um that everybody um, no matter what shape you are, mm -hmm. what size you are, um, if you have a disability or not, um, you can just enjoy Disneyland and go on these rides. That's um, really true. Like Space Mountain. It's really um, cool how they do that. They move the whole track over. Yeah. So it's so fun transfer. to watch. It is. How about you, Trey? What's your favorite thing about Disneyland? Um, I just really appreciate how Disney does the family. Seeing, like, parents with their little girls walking around in princess costumes or... Um, and standing in lines so the little girls can meet the princesses they're dressing up as. It's just really cool to watch and just to be a part of. Very fun. How about you, Mom? What's your favorite thing about Disneyland? Uh, I have to agree with my son. I absolutely love the family atmosphere. And they, honestly, that every time we have a great experience, like not that there isn't ever a hot day or a cold day or a rainy day, but just that um, they work really hard to give us an awesome experience every time. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Elena. What, 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 what do you want to add? Um, another thing I want to add to mine is they also, all the cast members, members are really kind. Mm -hmm. like That's a good never, one. Like, if they get frustrated, they're just like... <laughs> they, keep, they keep it together. One, they, two, three. <laughs> Disneyland's been around 63 years, and people still love it now more than ever. It's a very different park. They've made lots of changes, but it's really... But but it's but they've never lost that magic. Um, what what do you think, honey? When you think about it in terms of compass, what does Disneyland say to you about compass? I mean, how does what do you draw from it? One of the things. Um, so there's actually the bench that um, Walt Disney was sitting on when he thought of the idea of Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And every time I go and I see that bench, I think about like just my thoughts of starting an organization and how much. It does take a lot of work and teamwork to make the dream work. Yeah. Um, and to just see now, even after he's gone, his dream living on, his passion living on, um, his vision living on is just really inspirational to me. So um, I love going to that bench. I love when you're in Disney World and you can go see kind of Walt's journey. Uh -huh. um, I really like that. I love that they also are honoring him, you know, at, throughout the parks. Mm -hmm. Like they really think about what his vision was and continue to have it live totally. on. Totally. You know, when we were, um, when this one here turned five, we did a five day trip to Disneyland and they keep stats about everything. And one of the stats they've, that they are pretty solid on is that if a person spends 10 hours in a park, that's like say you show up at 10 a.m., you leave at 8 p.m., so that's like a full day, it's 10 hours though, that person will have typically on average 300 interactions with Disney cast members. The guy selling you popcorn, you know, the uh, five or six ride operators on an individual ride, um, you'll they will have you'll have three hundred interactions with with cast members in a in a ten hour day. We had five of those in a row, 
and only one bad interaction. That wasn't an epically bad one, but it was still only one bad interaction. That means f out of 1,500 cast member interactions that our family had, we had 499 <laughs> nearly perfect interactions. That's astounding to me. That's an astounding level of excellence and consistency. And I really, I remember Sadie and I were talking about it, even back then, about uh, Compass and how challenged we felt to make sure that our clients um, experienced consistent excellence from their staff and what could we do to promote that. Mm -hmm. And then to make sure that our staff felt consistent excellence from their leaders. I mean, if you're a life guide or a life coach, you deserve that kind of consistent excellence from your CF, your ILSM, and so on. And and it, but that really challenged us, and they just do it so well. One of the things yeah. that we were inspired by is, mm -hmm. and then we went on and actually got some education on is how much training they do for any and every cast member. That really inspired us to up our training, up our game, so that we provide more training to our team, realizing mm -hmm. that's part of consistency and excellence. Absolutely. Wait, At the time, when did you guys learn this? Uh, two thousand and seven. Wow, you've been doing this for a really long time. Yeah, Disney for a long college. time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Dad, Dad went and took a course. I took. On. I went to a Disney seminar for a one-day deal, and what what I found out during that one-day deal was that um, they have their every single cast member spends five full days in training before they're allowed to do their job. That like the guy with the trash trash little sweeper deal who just bends over and picks up trash off the ground, five full days of training before he. Um, walks around unsupervised with a trash can. I mean, how hard is it to pick up a piece of trash off the floor? That's what he has to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he has to smile when he does it. You know? He has to pre be prepared to answer the most frequently asked question at Disneyland. Trivia, the most frequently asked question of a cast member is not where's the bathroom, it's, this is not a lie, excuse me, what time is the 2.30 parade? That's three really o'clock. It's three, a three o'clock parade. Three o'clock. What time is a three o'clock parade? There's no two thirty parade. You know, Don't I mean, go and try to find the two thirty parade. parade. There is no such thing. Exactly. It's a three o'clock parade. Three o'clock parade. But that's the most frequently asked question um, of cast members. But that's because really what people want to know is what time should I start showing up to line up for the parade? So they have to know how to interpret the question. They they have so much training that they do, and I was actually kind of convicted because at the time we did a full day of training, one full day of training before we put people, um, you know, in in, in their homes. home environment to get more to get training, more training at home. Yeah. Our like official training was only one day. Exactly, and I thought, man, if Disney spends five days training people to pick up trash, our our clients deserve better than the one day we're giving. Uh, and one day was kind of standard in our industry at the time, so we kind of stepped out, and you know, we 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 spend more time and money on it. But man, it, we have seen the results, and and so again, Disney's example of how their staff perform consistently, excellently, and how well they train them people so that they can really has uh, encouraged us at Compass to kind of follow that example. And we believe it's made a profound impact in our company. All right. Well, thank you so much. And congratulations, Disneyland. And Happy thanks birthday. for inspiring us and giving us so many awesome memories as a family. Right, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.